Hi everyone, my name's Heather and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you guys through um, a warm-up slash stretching routine that um, I always do at my Taekwondo group before we start our Taekwondo training session. So this is the first thing that we do before we start all of our intensive training. So I just want to let like tell all of you guys like the stretches in this routine. So there will be split stretches and there will be some quite intense stretches. Don't worry if you can't do those stretches, that's fine. Do them as you can. Um, as far down as you can go, I will include modifiers in the video for those of you who can't do all of the really intense stretches. To be honest, I can't do all of them perfectly either. I am still working on my flexibility. It isn't perfect yet. So um, just follow along to the best of your ability and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, we're going to start by warming up our neck. So we're going to roll our head back and forth five or six times, making sure to feel the stretch all the way down the back of the neck. Then we're going to roll our head from side to side five or six times, feeling the stretch down both sides of our neck. Then we're going to rotate one, two, three, four, and five and now we're going to rotate in the other direction one two three four and five now we're going to move on to our shoulders so put your hands on your waist and rotate your shoulders forwards as much as possible feeling the stretch now we're going to go backwards Rotating the shoulders all the way back. Five, six. Now we're going to twist from side to side, feeling the stretch down the side of our body. Swing both sides. Make sure you're swinging all the way around, twisting your hips as well. Now we're going to swing our arms in big circles forwards about 10 times. Make sure you get, make sure the swing is as big as possible. And now we're going to go backwards the same amount of times. Swinging to warm up the shoulders. Now we're going to stretch as far as possible upwards. Make sure you stand on your tippy toes as can be seen in the video on the right. Now we're going to open our legs to shoulder width apart and stretch as far down as possible to one side and then come back up and stretch all the way down to the other side, feeling the stretch all the way down the side of your body. Turning to the left with your left leg in front and your right knee bent behind you, reach all the way down to the floor. If you can't, use the modifier above and bounce gently in this position. Now you're going to straighten that back leg to really feel the stretch in your thighs and your back. Keep bouncing as much as possible. Now put your arms behind your back, bounce gently again. Now we're going to turn to the other side and do the same on the other side. Bending that knee, straightening the knee and bouncing, reaching as far down as possible. Feel the stretch in the backs of your legs and your back. Now, moving into the next position, we're gonna open our legs wide with your toes pointing outwards. We're gonna put our elbows on our knees and the aim is to get your bum as close to the ground as possible. If you can't do this, again, use the modifier above and put your hands on your knees rather than your elbows. Now we're going to move from side to side, pushing the left knee backwards and twisting around to face the left side. 
Now we're gonna push the other knee backwards, twisting the other way to really open your hips. Now we're going to move into a side lunge. Use your back hand to push your thigh as close to the ground as you possibly can. And make sure that your front knee is 90 degrees in line with your ankle. Now we're gonna twist and face forwards and do a front lunge. If you feel comfortable in this position, you can put your elbows on the floor. If you cannot, use the modifier above and just push your leg down as far as you can with it, with it being comfortable. Now we're going to do the same on the other side, pushing that thigh to the ground in your side lunge. As you can see, my right side isn't as good as my left side. Everybody has a good side, but just do the best that you can. Now again, if you feel comfortable, go down onto your elbows. If you can't go down onto your elbows, just go down onto your hands or just stay in the lunge position. Moving on to star jumps, we are going to do 40 star jumps. This is to help us warm up. The first 10 are going to be normal star jumps with your feet going side to side. Once you've completed this 10, we're going to move on to the next 10, where your feet will be going forwards and backwards, like in the picture video above. Make sure that you're really, you know, getting your heart rate up here with these star jumps because we don't want to be stretching unless we've warmed up properly. And this is going to be good, great for your legs and your cardio. Again, back to the side to side star jumps. 10 times. And again, forwards and backwards for the last 10 star jumps. Now we're moving on to the stretches that are gonna make our legs more flexible. Sit down on the floor with your legs out in front of you and bounce your legs gently. Twist your uh, feet from side to side, point them outwards, then stretch them inwards, point them forwards as far as possible and stretch them back as far as possible. Now, keeping your feet in this position, we're going to bounce one, two, three, four, five, six, and up. And now we're gonna stretch all the way down and reach your head as close to your knees as possible. Make sure your back is flat and try and get your arms all the way down to your toes. Again, if you can't do this, there will be a modifier above in a minute. And we're gonna hold this position, keep pushing down, and now you're gonna come up and bounce your legs again get the blood flowing and reach all the way down. If you can't do this, now look at the modifier above. Just gently touch your toes or if you can't reach your toes, try and reach as far as possible holding this position for a few more seconds. Now we're going to come up and we're going to move into our butterfly position. So put your feet together and push your bum as close to your heels as you can. Try and get your knees flat to the floor. And now we're going to bounce our knees gently. If you can't get your knees flat to the floor, like I can't, then what we're going to do now is we're gonna push your knees to the floor using your elbows and bouncing up and down gently. If at any point you feel any sharp pains, this is not good, you should stop or you are pushing yourself too far. Now we're gonna push with our knees, trying to get your head to your toes and your knees to the floor. Come up and bounce again. If it's more comfortable, you can cup your hands around your feet rather than grabbing onto your ankles and push this way. 
and we're going to hold that for a couple more seconds. Now we're going to open our legs into straddle. I'm sorry guys, I didn't have a lot of space so I couldn't open my legs all the way, but I hope you can still see anyways. So open your legs as far as possible, refer to the modifier above if you cannot do this. Now we're going to bounce from left to right, reaching as far as you can down to your toes with both hands. Now we're going to stretch all the way down to your left side, trying to get your head all the way down to your knee. If you can get your head to the floor, that's even better, but make sure that you're reaching with both hands and feel the stretch along the opposite side of your body. Now we're going to do the same on the right side. Reaching all the way down and pushing yourself just that little bit further. Now we're going to fold our uh, arms across each other and reach your elbows down to the floor, pushing yourself to try and get your body flat to the floor. As you can see, I didn't have much space, so I couldn't really get as far down as I can usually, but I hope you guys can still get the point from this anyways. Now we're gonna come up in the middle and try and push ourselves further into this stretch. Massage inside if you need. Now, reaching with your arms all the way stretched out. Again, trying to get your body flat to the floor if possible. If you can't, just go as far as you can and hold it there for as long as you can. Now we're going to come out of this stretch and hug our knees to release any tension. Now we're gonna slide into our left splits. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have a lot of space. Use the modifier above if you can't get all the way down like I can. Make sure that your hips are square and your belly button is facing forward. If this is comfortable for you, then you can lean forward and rest your body onto your front leg. Make sure you do not twist your hips. If you can't, Get all the way down like this. Just hold on to the floor and bounce gently a couple of times. Now we're going to move into the right splits. My right side, like I said earlier, is not as good as my left, so I do not have my full right splits yet, but I am working on my flexibility along with all of you guys who are watching with me. So slide into the right splits, use the modifier if you can't get as far down as I can. And we're going to bounce gently in the middle here, pushing ourselves further down. Wrap your arms around yourself to make sure that your hips are square and your belly button is forward. And just keep pushing down as far as you can. So guys, that is the whole warm up and stretching routine. I hope that's been helpful for you all and you were able to follow along okay. So, um, like I said, that routine is for warming up before training. It's not intensive flexibility. I did include modifiers for those of you who won't be able to do all of the stretches. So I hope you guys will be feeling more warmed up so you can get better kicks, more flexible kicks, before you start training. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye.